What's good, YouTube? Your boy SO 8787 Productions. Uh, today, just wanted to do a quick, I guess, tutorial on how I do Instagram clips inside of Final Cut Pro. So, there are three different options that I offer to clients if they want an IG clip. The first option would be like the one that you see on the screen right now. You see the fades, it just looks more cinematic, it's more appealing, more eye catching. Uh, these I usually charge around 30 40 dollars for it you know and it just looks real professional there's another one um, now option two would be a more simple form of it a little cheaper I usually charge maybe 10 to 15 dollars for this particular type of clip You know, you just have top and the bottom, some text on it, real simple. Here's another example, you know, real simple, 10 to $15. And then option three would be no layout. If they just want the, uh, just the IG clip, just the plain black bars, then I usually throw that in for free. Just looks like your regular video. Okay, so back to option number one. I actually have a go-to graphic designer that creates these layouts for me. So I send about five to eight screenshots, like real dope shots from the video to the graphic designer. And she puts it together, creates the layout for me. I let her know the artist name, uh, the text, and, and send her any logos that the artist sent to me. And she usually sends it back within the day it's real quick and i pay her for it so that's why i'm charging client more so if you guys are interested in going that route then i'll put the graphic designers info into the bio and just hit her up and let her know i sent you and that's only if the client is willing to pay for the clip if not then i offer the option two and option two is what i'm going to show you guys today all right, so I'm gonna close this down. As you can see, I have a library already created that just says IG clips and um, I just create them all. In this one library, I just make new projects. So go to new, go to project, uh, just name it. So you drag in your video file. I like to lift it from the storyline so right now you're just looking for some dope shots that are in the video. So you just scroll through. Okay, I like this one. So you will put your, your marker there. Then you go up to file, share, save current frame, and name it. Go to settings, make it a PNG image, save it. All right, so it's done. So then you'll continue. All right, so I believe this was the uh, shot that I used. So you go through, save current frame again, change it to two. All right, then you finished after that. Now, if you're gonna to go to the graphic designer or you know how to make that type of layout, that the first one that I showed you, then you would just continue to go through and get like five to eight real dope shots. Take it over to Photoshop. All right, so after that, since I have my two pictures already, I go to bring them into the, uh, into the timeline. So you can just drag them if you want. Since the video file is already 1080, it's 1920 by 1080. What you want to do to make it a perfect square is um, go up to Window, Project Properties. Then you go to Modify Settings. Go down to Custom and change the 1920 into 1080. 
and just hit enter. So boom, it's gonna make it a perfect square. You're good to go. So you take your first clip, extend it. Let's say we're gonna do 15 seconds, so I would just go take it down to 15, even put it up to 15 or one, and just drag it. So I have a marker. Okay, so after you extend both of the pictures for 15 seconds, um, click on the first one and go up to position, change the Y position, take it up. You could scale it up if you want to. So, say, right there is good crop the bottom so. you want the black bars to show then you could crop it about there if not take it all the way down take your second picture drag it down about right there um take the top crop it about right there and now you could do it two ways if you want to just take a portion of the video that's already done So let's say here and do it like that. All right, so this is what you'll get so far. So you could do it like that, that's the quick way. Or you could do something like detach the audio and find a portion of the song that you want to chop to. So just real quick, I'm gonna take this particular portion of the song and drag it up front, delete the rest of it. Cause I'm only doing a 15 second clip so this much and then I'm gonna drag my video over here and and just cut like the dopest scenes out of the video Now I would say that you actually match the clips up to the song so it's hitting on beat, on a snare or on a drum or something like that or on a clap. But just to save time, I'm not gonna do that. But you get the idea. So this is what you would get. Um, if you want the black bars, cause I really don't like how that looks. I like the black bars. Just crop it up a little bit more. There you go. Take this one, crop it down a little bit more. So it matches about right there. There you go. So you're going to the text. Uh, what I do is just go to all, just do a basic title, put it here, paradise. Pick one, boom, there you go. I'll make it a little bigger. Maybe add a drop shadow. Go here, bring it down. And then after that, do another basic title. You know, put it there or something like that. 
okay so after that the next step is just to add a logo so you'll scale it down about right there there you go the IG clip is finished in Final Cut now I mean of course you'll go through pick better scenes you would actually chop it to the beat but basically this is exactly what you would do you can make it longer you can make it shorter like I say I usually charge like 10 to 15 for this type of clip real simple so after it's all said and done you went through you looked at it put your marker back at 1501 make sure you chop out everything that's behind it highlight delete make sure that the project is 1080 by 1080 and now you're ready to export so you go up to share master file um do it by source name it export it all right so it's gonna open up in quick time all right it's good so the final step is to make it a file that you could post on ig because this would be entirely too big to post on ig so you go up to file export you go down to ipad iphone etc click it by default it's going to be on the first one you want to choose the third option click save name it save it all right so after it saves just locate it and either uh, send it to your phone or email it to yourself or email it to the client and after that you're done so like I said this is just the more simplistic way to go about making an IG clip if you want the more designed clip like this then you gotta know Photoshop or you can hit up the graphic designer that I go to her info is in the uh, bio so yeah but either one is good either one is better than just having black bars on IG because people are more likely to click and watch a video with this type of layout more so this one but even this one is good too something is better than nothing so it could be an add-on that you add to your price for the videos tell your clients hey I could create a custom IG clip for you you're more likely to get people to watch if you have it it's a lot better than just having uh, plain bars on it or not having nothing at all no layout um, I have two options that you could choose from you could choose this one is more simple these go for about 10 to 15 dollars or hey you could choose this one it looks a lot better it's a lot more professional these go for you know 30 to 40 dollars and just go from there or however much you want to charge but yeah if you find this video helpful at all please like subscribe comment ask any questions that you have thank you for your time